This is Ravens on Cam starring Big D. This is Ravens on Cam starring Big D. You talking to me? Ravens on Cam. You talking to me? Ravens on Cam. You talking to me? Ravens on Cam. Who the hell are you talking to? What's up, everybody? This is Big D. This is Ravens on Cam. Oh, man. So much is going on. So much is going on. Uh, let me get started. Uh, this is the Draft Edition Part 4. <laughs> uh, this time I'm going to be talking about uh, Yaman Figures. Uh, he's a wide receiver, uh, return uh, runner from out of the University of Kansas. Kansas Wildcats. Ah, well, he went all conference as a senior. Senior. Yeah, I can't talk today. <laughs> and, um, really, I think he's going to be a relatively all around uh, good punt returner for the Ravens. Uh, I got an email from Jordan that says, hey, we got B.J. Sams. But B.J. Sams just is coming off of an injury. We don't know exactly if he's going to be back at 100%. And if he is, we always have him to use as a bargaining chip to trade or something like that. Uh, he also played the position of wide receiver. But the uh, critics said that um, they don't think he's going to do too well as a wide receiver because he's not uh, bulky enough, really can't take their hits. And he has a little trouble catching. You need to catch more with the uh, fingertips and uh, all those things like that. So they really don't see him working out as a wide receiver. They see him mainly just being a uh, punt returner and a uh, kick return specialist. But the Ravens might put him on the line, have like a two wide receiver offense set, and then that way throw their defense off and then not know where we're going to go to. But you might see him on the line every so often, but uh, mainly you might see him starting off, maybe return a couple of kicks. Or just be on reserve for B.J. Sands in case he's not up to like a 100%. Uh, other than that, uh, let's see what they have down here. I went to several sites. And basically all of them said the same thing about his size. He's not really bulky. He got good muscle definition, but he's not really uh, bulky. So they really don't think he can really take the hits. And plus with his troubles catching the balls as far as the ones being thrown to him. Uh, I really don't see him being uh, too well of a wide receiver. But, like I said, great pick overall. And we can definitely use him to trade for somebody else in case you might need somebody else in the future or something like that. Got another email that said, uh, talk about Drew Olson. Drew Olson up in the NFL Europe. Uh, he was drafted by the Ravens in 2006 and released and went over to Amsterdam, I think the name of the team is. So I didn't write it down. I don't keep up with NFL Europe too much. Uh, I do watch it from time to time whenever I get a chance to see it. I do watch it, but I really don't keep up with the teams or anything like that over there. But let's see some stats on him. Uh, he is at, uh, 58.6% for a, uh, 1,080 yards, 8 touchdowns, he has a 76 rating points, and he's in the middle of the pack as far as the um, NFL Europe stats are concerned. So hopefully with some more experience, to get some more experience over there, we can bring him back in case we do have a situation uh, where uh, McNair leaves, and then, <laughs> excuse me, all the draft choice comes up, and then uh, you know who might be leaving because uh, he's not figuring on being a uh, second string quarterback anymore. I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> so they might be good for that. Bring him back up there then and then put him into the fold. Put him in as a third string quarterback. And uh, just go from there. Because like I said before, the Ravens have an eye for spotting talent. They spot the talent. They give them a chance to shine. They don't shine. They're moving on somewhere else. Basically that's all it is to them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Josh, or let me make sure what this is. Yes, Josh and his friend, I didn't get his friend's name, uh, does like uh, figurines and uh, sell them on the internet. And here's a couple of them. As you can see, real good detail. And they sell them in like uh, five, I mean, I'm sorry, six and 12 inch sizes. 
Here's another one of my boy <laughs> right here. Uh, like I said they sell them on eBay. They said his friend just got one signed by Derek Mason. And so if you uh, once I get a hold of his email address, y'all can contact him. Maybe he might be able to work out a deal. He might sell it to you. But if it was me, I wouldn't be selling it. But <laughs> that's said he might sell it to you. So um, they're supposed to be sending me a couple of uh, figurines so I can have the real live version so I can show you on the air. But from what I'm seeing as far as these pictures, they're great quality, good work on it. So I, I really can't see any flaws and perfections. So they're, they're doing some good work over there. So that's Josh. Like I said, uh, once I get uh, Josh, uh, once Josh sends me back his uh, email just that he wants anybody to respond to or something like that, I'll be uh, the first to give it out there to you. Other than that, this has been another edition of Ravens on Cam. I'm Big D. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great, safe Memorial Day weekend. Keep it tight. Keep it loose. And remember, once you're a Ravens, you're always a Ravens. Bleed the purple and black, y'all. Got the Aqua Teen Hunger Force coming up on here <laughs> for all you Aqua Teen Hunger fans, so I hope y'all like it. Uh, yeah. yeah. You already finished? You already finished?